I know the importance of safety and security, especially at our border. Who really is Kamala Harris? She's been telling us her entire career. I support our sanctuary law. The illegal immigrant deported multiple times who stands accused of killing Kate Steinle. An undocumented immigrant is not a criminal. And we also have the courage to reject that term illegal alien. Are you aware that there's a perception? Do you know? Are you aware that there's a that perception? That puts ICE in the same category as the KKK. Is that what you're asking me? Abolish ICE. Yeah, is that a position that you agree with? And we need to probably think about starting from scratch. We're not going to treat people who are undocumented across the border as criminals. I am opposed to any policy that would deny any human being public health, period. Would you be committing to close immigration detention centers? Absolutely, on day one. How can she have applied consequences the last three and a half years? Ten men are legal encounters. Two men got out of ways. 600% increase in sex trafficking. More terrorists coming across the border. A record number of people off the terrorist watch list. And over a quarter million Americans dead to fentanyl that comes across the border. Consequences, there ought to be consequences for her failure. We have a secure border. The border is secure. Sickening new details about the murder of Georgia nursing student Lakin Riley. The 22-year-old was beaten to death with a mystery object. We've been to the border. You haven't been to the border. I, and I haven't been to Europe. And I, I mean, I don't... Kamala Harris, do you trust her to stop the invasion? <laughs> What's going on, guys? Kamala Harris is a dope fool, okay? Because she's getting destroyed, obliterated, she's getting completely annihilated on this whole border security issue. Now, she's attempting really hard to gaslight voters into believing that, no, 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 I'm tough on border security. It's Trump who's weak on border security, and it's his fault. Matter of fact, everything's his fault. If you stub your toe, just walking from your bedroom to the bathroom, is Donald Trump's fault, okay? The fact that the hurricane came is Trump's fault because of climate change. If your car breaks down, it's Trump's fault because of bad trade agreements with other countries. Like, these people will say anything. She said the stupidest, most ridiculous stuff during this recent speech when she actually visited the border in Arizona. I'm going to show you guys a couple seconds of that. So don't all click away at once, guys. It's going to be short. No worries. Take a look. To reduce illegal border crossings, I will take further action to keep the border closed between ports of entry. Those who cross our borders unlawfully will be apprehended and removed and barred from re-entering for five years. We will pursue more severe criminal charges against repeat violators. And if someone does not make an asylum request at a legal point of entry, and instead crosses our border unlawfully, they will be barred from receiving asylum. And as president, I will work with Congress to create, at long last, a pathway to citizenship for hardworking immigrants who have been here for years. For years. And deserve to have a system that works. Now this was after she had this dance off with Juicy Smalle, okay, the guy who said that he was pummeled by MAGA and was found to have lied about that. She was caught on video dancing with this dude talking about down, down with deportation. Down with deportation, up, up with education, down, 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 down with deportation. forget what happened to that French actor. You know what I'm talking about? Juicy Smouillet, he's a very French, very famous French actor. Y'all never heard of Juicy Smouillet? He was in Chicago late at night, 
and was the victim. <laughs> Kamala Harris has so many videos where she's completely exposed. It's miraculous. How the hell do you live in this type of day and age, even with propaganda, where people can't like, so more people, I would say, can't uncover the truth. Even if you're a Democrat, like, it just doesn't make any sense. Like, it makes sense to, if you still support her, irrespective of that, if you just don't care about the issue, but it doesn't make sense to turn around and say that Trump isn't good with border security and is really you, Kamala, the person who wanted to suspend all deportations and decriminalize border, illegal border crossings, now all of a sudden you're Miss Tough on the border and this is your first visit to the border. She's never even gone. This is our first time going. Where the hell have you been all this time right before the election? She's getting destroyed because apparently there are thousands of criminals, 13,000 plus murderers and over 400,000 other convicted criminals that have entered the country and she is being destroyed, including by the border patrol on this issue. Well, a disturbing development on the border crisis. Wait until you hear this. The director of Immigration and Customs Enforcement confirms that more than 13,000 illegal immigrants convicted of murder have been caught at the border and then released into the United States. But uh, it, it's a jaw dropper to say the least. So according to a letter that the acting director of ICE just sent to Texas Congressman Tony Gonzalez, uh, on ICE's non-detained docket, they're currently tracking 425,000 uh, non-citizens who have been convicted of a crime. Of that number, over 13,000 non-citizens have convictions for homicide and are on the non-detained docket, meaning they're roaming the country right now. On top of that, there are another 15,811 non-citizens convicted of sexual assault who are roaming the country right now on ICE's non-detained docket. It doesn't stop there. Those are convictions. The ICE director also says there are currently just under 1,900 non-citizens on the non-detained docket who have pending homicide charges who are roaming the country, and another 4,250 non-citizens who have pending sexual assault charges who are roaming the country on the non-detained docket. The, the jaw dropper here too, guys, is all these numbers we just rattled off, they don't even account for the nearly 2 million gotaways who have crossed our border under the Biden administration. Those almost 2 million gotaways, they were never encountered by DHS. They snuck in, they were never caught by Border Patrol, they were never encountered by ICE. There's no record of them, so they have nothing to do with the numbers I just rattled off to you. These are just the numbers of people that ICE has already encountered, that Border Patrol has encountered, that DHS knows who they are. Look, I stood with President Trump when he actually went to the border, to areas that is, you know, notorious for drug smuggling and human smuggling. He stood there, he spoke to the agents, he's been speaking to the boots on the ground for over eight years, he's spoken to them, asking what's going on. He's gone through the National Border Patrol Council numerous times. He stood there for over an hour in over a hundred degree heat with victims of uh, families of, from illegal aliens, and he spoke to reporters. From ICE today. Vice President Harris went down there, and she spoke to two members of management. She didn't speak to agents. She spoke to two members of management, and I'm going to tell you, I bet money that even those two members, I feel bad for them, because I guarantee you they didn't even want to be there. But she spoke to these two members of management, and she was there for 20 minutes for a photo op. That's all she did. President Trump yeah. actually cares, and he's actually gone down there and met with boots on the ground, and he's done it multiple times for long uh, times at all, every single time he's been there. This is just nothing but a complete photo op. That's all it is. It's her Hail Mary before the election. Even voters from Arizona have something to say about this stupid behind visit because this was not a good idea nor good timing. She should have just, in my opinion, just avoided it if you avoided it all this time going there at the last minute and bringing attention to it, terrible idea. We have the vice president coming in today. Why do you think she's here? Because uh, she's the flip-flopper and she's trying to get some votes at the last minute. Where was she three and a half, four years ago? How do you feel about Vice President Kamala Harris's visit here today? 
I'd like to be over in her face. What would you tell her? I'd say, it's about time you visited the border. So let me show you what it's really like. It's all publicity. Um, it's, it's kind of like she's here. She doesn't care. She just cares about winning. Why do you think she's here? Politics, of course. <laughs> so you're not being fooled? Uh, no, no, absolutely not. I mean, she's had, what, three and a half, four years to, to, to do something of, of, of some consequences and, and hasn't done anything, and I don't think she's going to do anything but carry on another word salad, I guess. To make matters worse, the Border Patrol Union, okay, another union that does not support Kamala Harris, obviously, because most of them, shouldn't if you value employment it makes no sense to support Kamala Harris because jobs are being lost many of them to illegal migrants and in other ways they're being lost because of offshoring okay very common whenever Democrats are in office for a lot of offshoring to occur because they're not good with business especially radical leftists are definitely not good with business it's all about the Benjamins at the end of the day including to companies that even donate to the Democrats will turn around and offshore because it's about the Benjamins. It doesn't matter what woke ideology the company may support. They still need to stay alive. But the Border Patrol Union was actively fact checking her. Here's a couple comments that they made. Fact check on Kamala Harris speech in Douglas, Arizona. Today, VP Harris claimed that she played a role in increasing Border Patrol agent overtime. This couldn't be further from the truth. As with all things border related, she was nowhere to be found when we needed her. Okay, so Customs Border Patrol, uh, Border Patrol Union sounding off against Kamala on that. Uh, VP Harris asserted in Arizona that Customs Border Patrol needed more resources. We have apprehended over 8 million illegal immigrants over the last four years. And now you realize we need help 38 days before the election. <laughs> 38 days. Can you guys believe we're this close to doomsday for the cackler in chief Kamala Harris? Okay, the woke leftist who is inevitably responsible for the potential demise of the entire nation. Every nation, all of them throughout history, guys, for those who are paying attention, a lot of people don't realize this. Every great nation has always fallen. All of them. Okay, so America could be next. We don't want that to happen. <laughs> okay, there's one more comment here from border, the Border Patrol Union. Okay, Vice President Harris ignored the border problem she created for over three years. She goes down there for 20 minutes for a photo op. It's, that's all this was, like glorified photo op. So she could make more commercials and spend that billion dollars that she got from a bunch of woke up businesses and dumb behind dodo brains that think she's black <laughs> okay that's all this was the photo op and decides to repeat some of the things that in pbc has said before but again where has she been the last three and a half years okay so again all this time joe biden just passed an executive order like a few months ago to basically close the border Whereas there was people begging to have the border closed in 2021. Literally, they opened it up in 2021 and suspended deportations. And they weren't sending nobody back. Now you got murderers, rapists, and other types of criminals, upwards of 400,000 criminals. That's without getting into all the terrorists that are within the nation, that's insane. They're walking, these people at the dang grocery store with you at the car wash. Like they're walking on the sidewalk. Anytime you go to, you go to a freaking baseball game, football game, they got somebody like, how can I blow this place up right now? These are the people who you're dealing with. How can I kidnap your child that's sitting next to me? Better not take your eyes off of them. Who am I going to kill next? Like, these people are out there, guys. You already got people that citizens you got to worry about. Now you got to worry about people with no paperwork, who, with no trail. That's insane. Donald Trump was right all along. They're dumping them in our country, and I never had proof. And those fake news reporters back there, they never... 
They say, Trump, what would he know about that? What would he know? You know why? It's common sense. We're the party of common sense, by the way, just so you know. Common sense. Murderers, convicted murderers in prison for life. Many get the electric chair or they get whatever their form of death penalty. These are convicted people for life are now in our country. And I can finally look at them and see. I say, I told you so to the fake news. These are hard. These are hard tough, vicious criminals that are free to roam in our country. And now, for the first time, I can say it, and, you know, I mean, I knew it before, when you have open borders, but they're dumping everybody in here. I knew it before, but these numbers are actually worse than I ever thought. She doesn't know what the hell she's doing. She should resign in disgrace for what she's done to our country, not run for president. She was the border czar. Kamala Harris, you fired. Get the hell up out of this White House. You fired. I can't wait till November. We need to fire the hell out of this woman. She's awful. This is the most ridiculous mess I've ever seen. She's up here down, down with deportation. Girl. Oh, I'm, I'm, I am tough on the border. It is Donald Trump and a bipartisan bill. Girl, shit your little lame ass up. I'm tired of Kamala Harris, man. I'm so tired of, she ain't even made it to the office as president yet, just as VP. She's been more annoying running for president than she ever was before because before when she was behind the scenes, at least she wasn't lying as much. Now she just lie, lie, lie about everything and you're busted. It's too late. Candace Owens, well, I, I published my video first before Candace Owens did in regard to the Kamala Harris blackness thing. But now Candace Owens got a whole series of videos exposing Kamala Harris on her blackness. This lady does nothing but get exposed as a liar. And they want to turn around and say, Donald Trump's going to be lying to you. Girl, shut your little goofy ass up. Even Oprah couldn't save your weak ass. I'm so tired of freaking Kamala, man. This border issue is out of control. She should lose horrifically based off this issue alone. That's without this talking about the horrendous economy that Afghanistan withdrawal and the fact that most people can't afford a damn house. I'm so sick of Kamala Harris, man. Let me know what you guys think. Is Kamala Harris tough on the border? Has she been tough all along? And is it Trump's fault? Or is she full of shit? Drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I appreciate y'all watching the Black Anomaly. Rise on channel. I'm out. Biden and Harris took the most secure border in my lifetime. This is from Tom Holman and unsecured it on purpose. So he unsecured the border. They did. I don't know why they want the votes. They're dumb or they want to destroy the country. That could be the only three things. They're dumb. They want to just have people destroy our country or they want the votes. You know, they're trying to sign these people up to vote. That's the all-time insult. They are working full-time to sign these people, many of them murderers, to vote so they can cheat on the election, because that's what they do. And they vote against bills. Any bill that wants to secure the vote, the Democrats in Congress fight like hell so they can't get passed.